So Reaction Engines in the UK has been long trying to establish a propulsion system that would get you from the runway to space in one go. This is their engine, of course, the Sabre, which we've heard of a lot about in the past. Their uh, single stage to orbit space plane concept is in the background. But it's a long journey to do that and get it technologically achieved. One of the main elements of the Sabre engine is this, the pre-cooler. Now, that's the sort of secret source, really, and the magic behind this concept of an air-breathing engine that can take you all the way to the point where a rocket takes over. So now, to the surprise of many here at the show, they're going to use that technology, but instead of putting it in a, so an engine that will go to space, elements of it will go into this, a hypersonic air vehicle, an experimental vehicle called the HVX. This has li literally just been announced here at the show. Uh, it's going to involve reaction engines partnering with Rolls-Royce, and it's aimed at an RAF study, which will actually evaluate this technology for potential hypersonic vehicle technologies in the, in the future. This would be roles such as uh, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, as well as other missions which the RAF doesn't want to talk about yet. So let's have a quick look at the vehicle and what, it, what it's all about. Now this is, a, as I say, it's a concept vehicle, not necessarily what we'll actually see flying. But you see it's a single engine. Uh, the demonstrator will have this inlet at the front. It's got these uh, canards for, st for pitch control and stability, and an Ogive delta wing, uh, which gives you lift at high, high speed. Uh, just in terms of the speed, obviously Mark V is the minimum, really, that we'll be aiming for with this, or we're looking to see it with this in the future. Uh, but they have said that speeds of up to Mark 10 could be possible. So, so while this is not something you're likely to see land at Farnborough, at least not in the near future, it's certainly something that we're going to see head off into the test ranges of the future.